Welcome to your full body cardio bar, low impact workout. I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is a part of the Bar Babe Bootcamp, where in just five days, you are going to feel so confident and strong in your body. So if you want to start getting results like these ladies right here, make sure that you download your guide. And if you want to be featured here on my YouTube, then go ahead and tag me on your Instagram stories, on TikTok, on YouTube, so that you can be one of these ladies right here. So let's get started in today's workout. As always, you don't need any equipment at all. I'm going to be using some ankle weights to intensify the burn. So if you want to do that, grab those ankle weights and let's get started. All right, so let's start with our warm up here. I'm going to start on the bar. Hand is on the bar. I'm in a first position. So remember to find your first, you just lean back into those heels and just find your natural turnout. Okay, never force it. All right. So we're going to start with some bends, side bends here. All right. So we're going to bend over towards the bar and then we're gonna bend away from the bar. Taking this moment here to connect with your body. Inhale and exhale as you go to the other side. Good, inhale and exhale. And then we're going to take a nice little demi plie right here. You can place the hand on the bar if you need a little extra support for balance. Demi plie, roll through the heels all the way up and squeeze my legs stay straight as I lower. Okay, let's do that again. Warming up those ankles. This is one of my most favorite exercises for really warming up the ankles, getting into the legs, right? Sometimes we forget about our toes down there. I highly recommend that you are not wearing thick soled shoes, okay? If anything you wanna be barefoot, I've got my actual ballet shoes on here. So if you wanna, I'll leave a link down below for you to check those out as well but you make sure that you're really working through those toes, working through your heels, your ankles. This is great for that. So now we're gonna reverse it. Lift up high onto the toes, bend the knees, push the heels out, lower the heels, and then stand, squeeze, zip up the legs. Good, up and lower, down and squeeze. Up, the more you do this, the more comfortable you'll get with it. Up and open, nice. You're gonna feel those ankles really warming up. All right, so now let's see if you can do it away from the bar, just to test your balance. Here we go, a few times in each direction. Whew, different game, right? When you take away the bar, but really good uh, test for your balance. Notice if you start to kind of wobble, that's totally normal, right? That's the body trying to find its balance point. Now let's reverse it up. And then every time you do this video, I know you're gonna get more and more comfortable with this move. Good. And one more time. Good, okay, let's stay in our demi plie. Hold it right here. Little pulses down and down and down. Squeeze the booty underneath you. Rotate the legs here. Hold your uh, arms in this first position. It's like you're hugging a big beach ball. You're gonna feel those thighs starting to work. Little pulses right here. Nice, so staying level. Trying to get a little bit deeper with each one without sticking the booty out, right? Head, shoulders, hips, heels, all one line. Beautiful, good. So I'll show you from the side. Keep going so you can see one straight line right there. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Okay, so now we're gonna go into a second to first, second to first. So all that means is you're gonna slide out into a second position, come back into your first position plie, second position plie, first position plie, okay? So this is a cardio class, but low impact. You're gonna get that heart rate up and it's starting right here. Good, little plie, plie and plie. Good, if it's too much with the arms, just bring them here and focus on the legs. So I am giving a little slide on the floor with my foot. Good, you're gonna feel those legs working. I'm already starting to get breathless. You can probably hear me. <laughs> I love this though because my heart rate is going up. I'm working, my legs feel good, low impact, nice slow controlled movements. All right, keep going. Four more, four, and here, three, and two, squeeze that booty, and one. Now we're gonna hold our second position, hold our second, find your second, good, grand play, hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, if you can get lower, four, three, two, one, hold. Lift the heel up, lower. Lift the heel, lower. Good for eight and seven and six. Stay on the big toe, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Come together here. We're still warming up, even though we are still getting our workout in, but this is still part of our warm-up section. We're gonna lift up into a front attitude, lower down. Lift, lower. So a front attitude just means you're trying to turn the heel out, right? Present the bottom of the heel, knee is open, external hip rotation. Eight right here, eight, seven, six, five. Try to stand up taller, four, three, two, and one, good, other leg. Eight, whew, seven, you gotta really find your balance. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna go back, same thing, but the leg just goes back for eight, and seven, and six, hold onto that core. Five, and four, three, soft arms, two, and one. Let's go to the other leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, stand up nice and tall, two, and one. Good, last thing here, actually I'm gonna stay sideways so you can see me. I'm gonna go into a little dummy play as I point my toe forward. I'm gonna bend the knee, double the pay, reach back, forward and back. Now if you need the bar, of course, it's always available to you there. So you can just use it, lightly tap your fingertips on it, just like that. Or you can challenge yourself without it, all right? You choose. I'm gonna do it in the center. Here we go, for eight, and up, seven, up, six, and five. Notice how I'm bending the standing leg. Four, and three, and two, and one. Reach, good, let's go to the other side. Eight, this is again our warm up. We're getting into the legs. Really just allowing yourself to be playful here. These might be completely new moves to you. You might be like, what the heck is a plie, an attitude, right? Or maybe you took ballet when you were little and you kind of remember. Just give yourself grace and patience to bring these positions into your body. Three and two and one and reach. Okay, amazing job. I'm gonna put on my ankle weights now. Meet me at the bar for our next standing leg sculpt series. Okay, so we're gonna go into our leg sculpt series now. So we're gonna start in a nice big squat here. I've got my ankle weights on. Let's start with our left leg. We're gonna do all the exercises on the left leg first, and then we'll move to the right. And lift the leg, good. 14 and. 13, 12, you can place the hands here, 11, or you can take them out in front of you. Just wanna find what feels good in your body. So you wanna get nice and low in that squat, nine and eight. I am flexing my foot at the end there. Good, seven and six, pull the belly in, five and four, whew, three, and two, and one, and up, nice. Now we're gonna lower the leg and lift. Lower and lift, 16 times right here. 15 and 14 and 13. Make sure that you're not starting to stick the booty out like this. You wanna stay nice and straight and long in the standing leg. That's probably one of the most hardest parts. Good, 10, core is tight, nine. Try to get longer on this side, seven, Ooh, six, five. You can feel that heart rate going up, four, three. Feel the burn, two, and one. Now we're gonna face our chair or your bar. I'm gonna have the seat forward towards me because our hands are gonna go on the seat, okay? So legs are parallel. Now this chair is a little bit low, so if you have a chair that's higher, that's okay. okay. You just want this seat in front of you like this. I'm gonna pull the knee in and I'm gonna extend to arabesque. 
All right, 16 like that. I'll do two sets of eight. Good, seven and six, five, four, good, three and two, and one more set of eight. I've got my fancy chair here, looking at these nice big crystal rhinestones, which definitely makes the workout more fun for some reason. I feel like I'm at a, a ball or something. Good, three and two and one. And we're gonna tap the toe and then high. Good, for two sets of eight. Eight and seven and six, five and four. Three, two, do you feel that booty? I bet you do. Good, another eight and seven. Feels so good though, right? Six, five, four. You could always take the ankle weights off if it's too much. Two and one, nice. Now we're gonna cross behind and kick to the side. So I'm crossing all the way back behind me and then I'm kicking side. Woo, it's a good one. Okay, here we go. And eight, same thing, two sets of eight, seven, Whew. Six, you can do a little tiny bend in the standing leg if that'll help either with your flexibility or sometimes you get tight in the hips. Good, five, four, three, and two, and one. Oh my gosh, I need to take a little breather. Okay, we're gonna do eight more, here we go. And eight, and seven, six, five, four, Three, Ooh, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna lower down into a nice lunge here. We're gonna kick it all the way side. Lunge it down, kick it side. So lots of good balance here. Okay, I know that standing booty is doing a lot too. I'm just trying to take a break. Okay, let's go, two sets of eight. And eight, good, you can let go of the chair, seven, and Six. Be really intentional with your leg, right? I'm extending through the toes. And three, I know. And two, and one. I know I said two sets of eight. We've gotta do two sets of eight. Okay, the heart rate's going, right? I told you you were gonna be dripping in sweat for this one. Good, eight. And seven, almost there. Six, and you're doing awesome. Five, four, and three. Remember, you can take those weights off. Two, and one. Good, now take that leg, swing it all the way back behind you. And we're gonna do a little tiny lifts right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, another set of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay. I know we've got two beautiful strong legs, so we're gonna do everything on the other side. Catch your breath, uh, breath. And let's go ahead and start with our squats, remember? So I'm gonna just have a little room so I can lift my leg up. Little squat and lift. So that booty is already pretty fatigued from the support. That's why I love these exercises, because even though we're working one leg, you're really working both. So it's, it intensifies the whole movement. That's why I'm so out of breath, and we haven't done a single jump, right? We're not running or anything, but I'm really out of breath. One more set of eight right here, eight and seven. Be really intentional with where your leg goes up in the sky. Good, four, and three, and two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna hold it, pull the abs in, and lift for eight, seven, six, whew, five. You can try the arms out, see how that feels. Four, three, great for balance. Two, and one more set of eight. When you have balance, it's like you can do anything, right? Ballet was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And then I was able to really easily transition into things like surfing or whatever it is that I wanted because I have this solid foundation in my body. Body awareness, balance, 
coordination. All right, here we go. Let's come back to the chair and let's pull our knee into our chest, extend back behind us. Right here, really pull the knee in. See how close you can get to your chest. All right, let's go. And eight and seven and six, five. Make sure you're still on the right leg. Four, three and two and one. Again, you can stand, um, bend the standing leg a little bit if you need to, because I know sometimes with flexibility, it could be a little tough, but just put that bend and that should help a lot. Good, four, three, you're doing so good. Two and one. We're gonna tap low, tap high. Here we go. I know you guys love it when I challenge you. Every one of my bar workouts here on my YouTube or inside of my Stretchy Fit app, you're always saying, that was tough, but I did it. It gave me a good challenge, right? It gives you something to work up towards. So there's a lot of ways to progress this, right? You add the ankle weights, definitely makes it a lot more tough. You can make sure that you do all the reps, see how if you can get through all of them. Eight more, here we go. Eight and seven and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now we're gonna cross and side. So notice I'm crossing all the way over and then I'm kicking side. So use your core, keep your shoulders straight. Try not to move too much in the shoulders. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. This is where you gotta work really hard to. And one, another set of eight. You've got this eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we are gonna go into our lunge to the side kick. Let's take a quick break. <sighs> take a breather. Tell yourself you got this. Let's go. We're in it together. Good, eight. And I always feel like I can do so much more when I work out with you. I really, really can. You push me to my fullest. You help challenge me to come up with creative moves. So I know together we can just go so much further. So that's why I'm all about creating community here on either on my YouTube, my Stretchy Fit app with the Stretchy Babe Girl Gang. I love our girl gang there. Seriously, the most badass group of ladies ever. Good. Okay, let's take a little breather. Woo. Okay, another set of eight. Let's go, you've got this. Eight and seven, six. Do what you can. Maybe you did eight today, and then maybe tomorrow you'll do nine and so forth. Good, five. Whew. Four. Sometimes I wonder what was I thinking with some of these exercises. But it's a good challenge. Three and two and one. The last one was a little sloppy. Okay. Whew. We've got oh our little kicks at the top. This is it right here. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now I'm gonna take the ankle weights off. Take them off if you have them on, and we're gonna go into a cardio burst. Okay, so we've got our cardio burst here, so we're gonna go into a nice big second position, and you're gonna lift the back leg up into attitude. Second position and lift, okay? We're gonna do that for one minute and then we're gonna do our next exercise for one minute. Here we go, second and lift, and second and lift, good. I know this doesn't look like a cardio move, right? But trust me, your heart rate is going to be up, good. And if it's too much with the arms, just keep them right here, just like this, nice. I love this because they're using levels. We're lifting our leg, using our core. You've got this. You're using your balance. A lot's going on here. Whew. Okay, keep it going. 
You've got this. Just a little bit more. Last 10 seconds right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now we're going to do ballet burpees. All right. I love these. So you're going to come out into a plank position. You can jump up or you can step, step up just like this. Four little presses. Three, four. Hands down. All the way back. Little push up just like that. Okay. Let's go one minute and good. Four, three, two, one. Hands down. Little push up. So you can eliminate the jump there. You could do step, step if that's more comfortable for you. Good. <sighs> Moving nice and gently in your body. Two, one. <sighs> Heart rate is definitely going up now. About 20 more seconds. Doing so good. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Stay in your plank. Hold your high plank. We're going to pull the knees in towards our chest. Up and up. Good. Up and up. One minute here. I know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I am a little bit. But I know you can work your way up. You can even do this on your knees. Pull your knee in and lower. Knee in and lower. Okay? So you can work your way up. There's always a way to work up to it. Nice. And then, of course, another modification is on your elbows. It's a little bit less intense as far as the pressure on the wrists. Good. In and in, in, in. Good. Feeling that heart rate going up. We're working so hard. You're doing amazing. Last 10 right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew, wow. Okay, so now we are going to come on to our booty right here. We're going to do a little bit of core. So come up into a seated position. Squeeze the legs together. We're going to roll down into a C curve. Okay, hold here. And we're going to take the arms up overhead and lower. So tucking the pelvis slightly under. Arms come up overhead. I stay in this ballerina position where I frame my face. Good. Lift and lift. So the hardest part is the, the hands over the head. You see I even shake a little bit. Four more here. Four and three and two. Press that lower belly in. Squeeze the pelvic floor underneath. Two and one. Bring the hands into the center. We're going to lean a little bit further back, a little bit up, a little bit lower, a little bit up, just like that. Nice. Squeeze the inner thighs together. I can feel my inner thighs working, my hip flexors working, my low abs working. That is all part of the core. Even up here through the ribs, through the back, this is your whole core, right? Lots of times people just think of the six pack, but it's this entire area. Even your diaphragm is a huge part of your core. So make sure you are breathing. That's going to help activate those lower core muscles. Nice. Okay, now we're going to hold here. We're going to do a little twist and twist, twist and twist, squeezing our thighs together. Whew. Now this is burning. Wow. It's on fire. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. That was a lot all together. You're doing amazing, by the way. 
Okay, so let's come on up. Now we're gonna lift the legs up. So now the ankles are squeezing together. Good. We're gonna do that same thing. This time we're gonna take the arms, kind of do a nice big figure eight right here. Let's do this eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna lower onto our elbows now. And we're gonna take our legs in towards our chest, kind of like we were hanging out at the beach, but make sure you're not sinking into the elbows. Okay, press away. And we're gonna extend one leg at a time, just like this. <sighs> Pull the lower abs in, make sure that the pelvis stays tucked under and you're not pushing into the low back here like this. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take the legs a little wider. Nice big scissor kicks right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that again. So you're gonna notice the legs are working, right? It's not just core, it's the whole leg, the quad, the inner thigh. It's amazing. And then point those beautiful ballerina toes. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come on up. Okay, so as our finale, I know you guys love my finishers. We're gonna do those cardio moves again. Okay, so those three moves. We're gonna start on the floor with the, the mountain climbers, okay? Then we'll do our ballet burpees, and then we'll do our second to attitude. You ready? This is it. This is it. This is where you get to push it. You give it your all. Let's go. High plank. Remember your modifications. Let's go. In and in. One minute each. In, in, and in. Do what you can. I know I purposefully challenge you, okay? So if you can't get through the minute, that is totally normal. I don't expect you to. I expect you to work your way up to it, to build. That's what this Bar Babe Boot Camp is all about. It's about building, it's about coming back, committing yourself to the work, to the practice, enjoying the journey, and getting stronger one rep at a time. All right, by just using your body weight, which is pretty amazing. I know you're gonna feel so confident, so strong by the end of the five days. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> this is tough, but I know you can do it. Okay, we are in our last 10 right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a quick break. We've got our ballet burpees. Okay, and let's start in a few seconds. You're doing amazing. This is tough. Okay, and let's go. And little pulses, four, three, two, one. Add the push up here. Emery, you can step, step. If you don't wanna jump. You can even add a few more push-ups here if you're really feeling, you're just feeling it, you know? Some days, we have those days where you're like, you know what, I can do more push-ups. If that's you today, that's awesome. Good. I know this is where we get tired. This is where you dig in. This is where you recommit. This is where you get stronger. More than halfway there. So close. 15 more seconds. Good. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, one, and up. Okay, this is it. Last move here. I gotta roll up my leg warmers. Okay, so we've got our big second position to attitude, second to attitude. Okay, this is it. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. You can take the arms up if you want an extra challenge. Using the arms with your legs definitely just kicks everything up a notch. Good. Whew. See how low you can get in between. 
and I squeeze my inner thighs together to get them back to standing. You can take the hands here. I'm breathing so hard as if I just sprinted a marathon. Oh my gosh. Okay, 20 more seconds. As you get tired, your balance might start to be a little off. It's okay. Fight for it. Last 10 seconds. This is what you came for. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, big virtual high five. You did amazing, amazing job today. Let's take a nice little cool down. And of course, check out the cool downs I have here on my channel. I've got one linked here. You did amazing, amazing job. Or if you're watching this inside of my Stretchy Fit app, you know you have a whole cool down playlist that you can choose from. All right, and roll on up. You did an amazing job today. You crushed that workout. I am so proud of you. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe to support my channel so that you don't miss any of my new workouts. And if you wanna take your fitness to the next level and get full 30 day bar programs and this challenge, then go ahead and download my Stretchy Fit app where you'll be able to access hundreds of my bar Pilates yoga videos without Wi-Fi. You can download them, create your own playlist and favorite them, which is amazing. You're going to just feel so awesome. So I'll leave that link down below for you and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.